welcome to Leah's Crochet Chit Chat. Uh, tonight I'm wanting to talk about magazines. I love crocheting magazines. I've become a bit obsessed about collecting them. Um, they're a bit hard to get here sometimes in Australia. They often will get them month, two months past when they came out um, in the UK or the US, predominantly the UK. Um, but even that being said, I can't help myself. But we've had a bit of a breakthrough recently. Um, so the other, I think it was last week, I picked up the Crochet Now magazine. Um, and I think this is the one that was maybe a, the previous month. I'm not really sure. But has lots of great patterns in it. I um, particularly like the, the little beanie. And the coloured cardigan. I'm definitely going to be making that. Um, different scraps and odds and ends. And I think I'll have a bit of fun with that. So, And the mandala. I've never made a mandala. But I have a list of goals for 2019. And YouTube videos was one. Um, doing a cowl is another one. Which I'm in the process of doing the granny cowl. That's going on... I can't remember. I'll have to think about it and I'll put it down below. It's a Ravelry cow, but I'll put it down below anyway. Um, but that's one. And then Mandalas is another one. So definitely going to have some fun with that. So that came and... Oh, oh look. There's even little... I mean, this tells you how old, old the magazine is. There's little Christmas stocking fillers. So... And we're in March. So, yeah. That gives you a bit of an idea but I went to my friendly news agents Nextra at Moorbank um, who are just the loveliest people Gina and, and Abbott but they had some new magazines in and I was dying to get this and I got it and look look I had been watching Z, um, the Zines and Roger uh, podcast and I heard um, oh, I'm sorry I can't think of your name um, Rosina talking about doing the this cover and and the cow the um, cowl and I thought oh can't wait for that to come out I'll have to wait you know obviously it's going to take its time but you know I'll wait till it gets here and lo and behold two days after I saw the podcast this lands in Australia Go figure. And then, to make matters even more exciting, the Simply Crochet magazine also air freighted. I know this is a bit, bit you know, everyone's probably thinking, oh, really? You yeah, know, they're just magazines. But I love these magazines and I really love to do things as they come in and to, um, to get them straight away instead of waiting two or three months for them. That's super exciting in my world. So, yeah, that tells you how much my world is, you know. But anyway, so very excited. Can't wait. Going to try the tea cosy. I haven't opened it yet. I was waiting till I did this podcast to have a look. So I cannot wait to dive in and flick and do what I normally do, which is tag every other page that's got a pattern in it just because that's what I do. Um... Oh, how cute is this? Oh, that's a cute little pug. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this. I think I shall have some fun with this magazine as usual. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I would do that in blues, I think, if I did that. Blues or greens. Oh, I could see my mother with these. What do you think, Ma? You reckon you'd go for them? Coloured laces like that? I could see you with them. The teacup. Oh, it's got a little mug. A little mug. You've got a teapot cosy and then you've got a little mug. Granny, um, a little cup sleeve. That's what it's called. There you go. That's really cute. 
I like that. But I really like the Granny Square. Cozy. I think I'll have some fun with that. I really love Granny Squares. Which I'm sure you'll hear me say countless and oodles of times while I do these podcasts. Because I just... I just love the granny screw it's, and the, the granny stitch. It's just, oh, you can use it for so many things. But with that Simply Crochet came an Amigurumi little book. And I really love her. She is just so cute. So what have we got in here? I hear there's a Mr. Henry Fox, which I'll have to have a look for. Mermaid, done her. That birdie the teddy bear. Oh, there's a robot. There's pretzels. Pretzels. Go figure. Oh, I like him. I really like him. I might have to do Henry J. Fox. I really love foxes, I must say. I I know they're a feral beast and, you know, they really destroy, you know, um, really destroy hen coops and all of that, but I just love foxes i like the look of them i don't like you know the nasty this stuff that they do but i just love just love foxes how cute is that imagine giving that to a friend or a relative who's having a baby they would just be an absolute keepsake aren't they gorgeous and then there's this little rascal how cute is this if anyone has a pattern or knows a pattern of a amigurumi jack russell please let me know i would love to do one just so that i have an amigurumi of my little man i'll show you a photo of my little man he's just my favorite little animal he is my best friend he is um he keeps me company when I'm sick and oh, I don't know whether we'll be able to see that real well. Oh, that's a shame. Um, hang on, let me see if I can find a better one. He has been my constant companion when I have been, there we go, uh, laying on lounges and recovering from multiple operations. He's just the best little soul and I would be seriously, seriously lost without him. I, I don't know how I'd survive. Well, I think I might have to do one of these for my son. My son loves dash hounds. Absolutely loves dash hounds. So I think I might have to tag that and make that for my 18-year-old. Because I am pretty sure that he would have an absolute ball with that. Look, there's a little red riding hood. Well, I love that. I, oh, I've got a girlfriend whose sister would love those. Look at those little otters. I'm rambling, I know. I'm really sorry. I'm just... I love it. But then, when I went to the news agents today to have a look, see if they had any other magazines, she had put this aside for me. Gina. Thank you, Gina. Love it. Love, love, love it. There are so many things in here that I cannot wait to try. And they're ju it's just filled with, I mean, it's got cacti, whoops, cacti, it's got all sorts of things. Can't, can't wait. You know, they say small things am amuse small minds. Well, I must be amused very easily because um, I just love these sorts of things. So anyway, I'll be having fun with that over the coming weeks. You will see um, different patterns and, sorry, different finished objects and fun bits. Um, but one of the other things I wanted to talk about, I have been looking for, you know, pretty buttons, nice buttons everywhere, but they've been so hard to find. But I happened to be at a local $2 shop, a, you know, a, a local, you know, thrift shop for a want of a better word, and I came across these and for a packet of 20 it was um 3.95 
which is pretty cheap for us because normally they're a lot more expensive. Um, so I had, I bought two packets because I just thought they're just so pretty. So um, I can't wait to start using them on projects and, um, and having fun with them because they're just so gorgeous. So anyway, they were my latest find, my latest um, acquisition. Um, other than that, I've just been working on the granny shawl and also um, waiting to waiting to get the yarn for the for the Juliet shawl. Um, but as I said, that will wait. One of the other things I do quite a bit of which I absolutely love is um, I've hit a brain brain blank um, it's Crystal from the Secret Yarnery um, she did a tutorial at Christmas time on soap sacks so I've really loved the the pattern and I really loved making them look they only take I mean not even 15 minutes 20 at the absolute most um, and I make them up and I pop into them some soaps by a uh, soap maker here in Australia called Tilly Soaps I don't know whether you'll be able to see that there we go and that's their little logo on the back the smell is absolutely divine, absolutely divine. I get four for $10, depending on where I buy them. I think I've also paid eleven ninety five for four. They are just, oh, I don't like to use any other soap. I'm, I use them, I put them in this, and I either give them as gifts or as a little bit of a stocking filler gift for, for friends and family. Or what I'm also doing is um, making a, a whole heap of them because one of my other goals for this year is to um, participate in a, um, a craft show or a, like a craft fair. Um, so I'm building up my stocks of those and other odds and ends in the hope that at some stage this year I can sell my wares at a, at a little craft fair or something of the like. Um, but yeah, so that's me at the moment. Everything is just, you know, mulling over and, and getting things done. Um, I'm hoping, oh, I'm also working on a little, a little triangle bunting, just something fun to pop behind me for when I do my videos. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but otherwise, keep crafting, have fun and... God bless.